All right. Hello, everyone. We're at the top of a, a hill here with some beautiful scenery. It's panoramic. We're at a little radio broadcast spot at the top of this hill. We're about an hour from the closest city here, so the skies are a Bortle 4, which is pretty dark. The Bortle scale is a scale going from Bortle 9 being, you know, in the middle of New York City, Manhattan, and 1 being rural central Australia of sky darkness. So anywhere below a 5 or 4 is quite good for seeing and taking photos of the night sky. So tonight we're going to take a photo of Orion's Belt. It's kind of these distinct three stars in the sky. They rise from the west a bit towards the north here in Australia. Um, now we can't see it with our naked eye because our eyes are not very sensitive to really dim stuff, especially colour, but there's all of this red hydrogen alpha gas that's hidden behind some of these stars. Now even a normal photo with a really good camera can't really distinguish some of that stuff. So what we're going to do is we'll set up a tracker that'll be pointed at that part of the sky for hopefully a bit over an hour tonight, just taking photos continuously the entire time. Okay, there's a little bit of wind action tonight coming from behind me. So hopefully this hill and the car will block some of that. We're gonna set the camera up around here, set it really nice and low. So hopefully the wind doesn't bounce it around too much. Unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to do a little bit of um, deforestation. So. so the reason we use these trackers is that the Earth's spinning. And if we take photos of the night sky, the stars move relative to where the camera's pointing. So I don't know if you've ever taken a photo of the sky before, but if you do a really long exposure, the stars, instead of being pinpoint circles, they start to trail, and turn into these lines in the sky. Now, sometimes people think this is art. I think it's just a bad photo of the sky. So to counteract that, this tracker here points the camera up and then it rotates the camera at the exact same speed in which the Earth is spinning. So all the stars up there, no matter how long the exposure, they stay still. So I've made a friend up here. Hello. 